right, we are approaching what is going to be my first attempt at Florida boondocking, stealth camping, free camping, whatever you want to call it. So wish me luck and I will check in with you guys in a few minutes. I know that this is not the most scenic view, you might say, but, oh, well, that didn't work out very well for the reveal, thanks to the lighting here. But as you can see, behind me is a different story. So I'm gonna hang out here for a few hours. This may actually be my sleeping spot. I'm um, not sure yet. TBD. Okay, y'all, I think I might be at my very first boondocking spot here in Florida. I haven't decided yet. I've read mixed reviews on iOverlander and some of the other apps online um, that they've started knocking in the middle of the night and telling people they can't park here. But I don't see any signs that say no overnight parking. As far as I know, that's only across the way at the rest area. And if you see over here, there are a lot of campers set up, even some tents set up. So I'm kind of thinking I might just stay put since I have this for my view. At the very least, I'm going to hang out here and start heating up dinner and do some reading and relaxing before sunset. And I'm definitely going to enjoy sunset from here. And then we'll reevaluate whether or not I want to move to another spot that I know is a sure bet for my plan B or whether I want to try and stay put and risk maybe getting the dreaded knock. Stay tuned. So I just wanted to show you my hangout setup that I'm currently working with. I haven't really done anything at all up front yet except for put my weather tech in and the screens and the front windows. There's Smokey. Hi Smokey. And then you can see I've got my tripod set up because I'm planning on doing a couple of videos. We'll see how ambitious I am. I've kind of enjoyed being a lazy slug today. Um, I did have a lovely day at Bach Tower Gardens, which you will probably have already seen by now, I think. I don't know what order I'm posting anything in at the moment. Um, but I've got all my pillows kind of in a comfy little pile to lay on. That's my fridge back there, which is probably not in the best spot for the sun at the moment. But I do have that white rug on it, hopefully deflecting enough light and taking the brunt of the heat instead of the fridge. Um, I've 
got my new little seat set up. I was going through some of my photos, but I didn't really take a whole lot today. Um, but I was just looking through those. Let's see, I've got my fire extinguisher up there since somebody suggested that it was not in a very good spot in my van tour video. I've been keeping it there instead. And then you can see I've got my broom and dustpan always available and a couple of those wet dry bags. I've got my curtains ready to go in case I do end up deciding to just stay put here tonight. If I do, then I will cover up the screens for privacy and then put the rest of the window coverings on. I did put this one on for now and I've got my books out and my ever-present polar seltzer. Polar, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I think I've earned it by now. <laughs> And then, um, as you can see, I've started my collection of stickers on my water bottle from Cumberland Island, and then Fort McAllister. And you guys have not seen that, but I may show like a Serenity Sunday or do some type of hiking video there, because I did take a lot of footage. Um, so I may be able to salvage that from this past fall. That was a fantastic place. Um, beautiful. So we'll see. You guys might be seeing more of that. And then, as you can see, they're just hanging out over there. There's quite a few going that way. And then, if I show you out my other window here, <laughs> they just showed up over here. So, initially, I was a little bit worried, not knowing whether or not it was okay to park here overnight, but I'm thinking with as settled in as everybody is, I may just stay put myself instead of heading over to spot B. We'll see. I am going to pull my Jackery 240 out of the front and my hot logic out of there and start heating up dinner either way because that'll take a couple hours so that'll give me some time to decide what the heck I'm doing and then I'll let you guys know when I know. So in keeping with the theme of the day <clears throat> this was a gift from my younger sister and I think I'm going to do a little journaling Right, check in later. another new neighbor all right back to getting set up for dinner gotta say that's not too bad of a view for free. I think I can handle the highway noise tonight for that.
think I'm gonna wait until it's pitch black to put my back window cover back on because wow I was just watching some dolphins swim by but of course I didn't have my phone on me at that moment I don't know if you guys can hear all the road noise. This will definitely be my noisiest overnight so far, but I'm thinking it'll kind of be a white noise as long as nothing crazy happens. So we'll see how that goes. Knock on wood, so far so good. I was stalling hoping another dolphin would just kind of swim by in the sunset, I, but of course I didn't get that lucky. Okay, welcome back. It's quite a bit later. In fact, it's 11.30. I wanted to stay up and make sure that they weren't going to come through and tell everybody to leave or anything like that. Um, and by everybody, I mean, I, I'll show you when I leave here in the guessing since I'm leaving early that most people will still be here if all goes well <laughs> but um, it's pretty packed in fact there's a truck with a tent um, a roof tent like literally right outside my window um, and there's an RV on this side of me I think I've probably already shown you that um, but the sunset was absolutely gorgeous. I was watching dolphins swimming by and the pelicans were diving in front of the sunset. So not bad for free. Again, knock on wood. It's a smooth night. Um, so far it's been really quiet except for the road noise, which obviously the highway's right here. It's pretty loud, but it's kind of white noise for me. Um, so hopefully it doesn't bother me. <clears throat> I changed into my jammies. I will kind of show you what I'm working with for the night. I didn't do my traditional campsite setup just because in case I need to leave in a hurry or anything like that, I want to be able to just pretty much go. So I didn't put my coffee stuff out like I normally do for tomorrow morning either. Um, just in case, but it's super easy to get to. You guys have seen that before, so I'm not too worried about that. In fact, I'm going to show you my fast morning routine for when I have early mornings when I'm just trying to basically get up and go. Um, so stick around for that. Um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and finish my nighttime routine. I'm going to clean my face, brush my teeth all that good stuff and then I'm gonna get into bed and I'm gonna watch some Netflix probably animal I downloaded that documentary and so far I'm really liking it so I think that'll be a good one to fall asleep to um, all right let me show you kind of what I have going on for the night so I will keep my Jackery 240 up here to charge my phone um, that's pretty much it overnight. I didn't really take a ton of pictures today, so I'm not even going to bother charging my camera battery. Um, I showed you that earlier. I've got um, my clothes for tomorrow laid out already. And then I have some wipes, my broom and dust pan, some cedar shavings for just in case. Watching Netflix here in a minute. Ugh, those smudges are so embarrassing. Please disregard those. I'm gonna clean that here in a minute. Um, but I do have that ready to go since, again, there's no hookups or facilities or anything at all where I'm at. Um, I'm getting ready to tuck my shower bag back under my bed, and I'll be putting my camera down here on the floor seat that I'm sitting on currently, which I just have my blanket on at the moment. Um, see I've got my USB charger there just in case I need it with some tissues I keep my keys on the hook right next to me so that they're ready to grab 
I've got my fan on low. I don't really need it. I'm actually super comfortable and I don't know if that's just because it's not hot today or if this new fan is really, really good. Um, oh, by the way, I got a new fan. Let me show you that. Um, I've got my lantern right now for ambiance. And this, oops, sorry guys. Um, this fan, let me not blind you, is my newest edition that you saw the picture of in my post. I am loving it. It's on the lowest setting so far, which is supposed to go 24 hours on, something like that. And then 12 on medium, six on high, but I have it on low right now and it's more than enough. Again, it's not a hot day, so I'll put it to the test more once it warms up again. Um, I've got my water bottle ready to go, coffee cups ready for morning. That's it, guys. I'm going to get under the covers, set up my TV, and I will see you guys in the morning. As you can tell by my voice, it's been a long day, so good night. Hi again. Okay, I'm dressed. I have a clean face, clean teeth. Um, just chilling here with Smokey, and I pulled out all the rest of my coffee stuff. Um, this is my quick morning routine, so we're going with instant again. Um, I know it's boring. That's all you guys have seen me make so far. So. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to get set up, get my coffee going, and it's about an hour and 15 minutes before sunrise. So I want to get my coffee made, get everything put away in drive mode, ready to go, and then I'm planning on just opening up the back and watching the sun come up and then heading out to the next place. So I will see you again in a few. Quick clarification. When I said watch the sunrise, I don't mean the literal sun since I watched it set back here last night. I kind of just mean sunrise, watching it over the water since the sun will be that way and I won't be. <laughs> I'm trying an experiment with my new fan here since it lets me rotate it all the way around. I have it aimed out the window now so that when it starts to boil here, hopefully the steam will just go out that way so that I don't have to crack open a door to a avoid any condensation issues. And then we'll go ahead and get out my creamer. As you can see, I'm pretty much good to go. I just have to stow a couple of things. I've got my sandals ready. <clears throat> Otherwise, my bed's all made up. I've got my wet dry bag, one of them being used as a dirty laundry bag for now. And then I just need to put my fan away and just stow a couple things and I will be ready to go. I'm back. Just to give you guys um, an idea of what I'm working with here, <clears throat> this is my less glamorous view out my front, but still pretty this morning since the traffic isn't bad and the sun's coming up. And you can see I had pretty close company last night. They even have their roof tent up. And then you can kind of see that's the direction that I came in at. And then <clears throat> that direction is the Sunshine Skyway Bridge. You can see kind of like way off to your right, but if you were to continue on this road, it would, I think, dead end. I didn't make it that far since that was my plan B, but that would take you to the state park run 
Skyway Pier, the fishing pier. Um, this is the South End Fishing Pier. And they also have a North End Pier. <clears throat> and you can pay $4 for a 24 hour parking pass and $4 per person to have access to that pier for 24 hours. And there's even restrooms and a bait shop and I believe a ranger station. This is my view out back. <clears throat> so that was going to be my plan B because I honestly wasn't sure if there would be signs here saying that I couldn't park. But the only signs I saw were across the grass there saying not to park on that side or to walk on that side. And then there's signs saying not to block the throughway. But I didn't see anything else. So if it hadn't have been for all these other campers, which I'm going to get out in a minute so you can kind of see, I don't think I would have felt confident enough to stay here I probably would have kept going to the pier because I knew that was a sure bet but when I saw people set up already for the night I figured I had decent chances I might as well give it a try for completely free so definitely a good first experience I'm happy if you're not already that you subscribe so that you can see the rest of my adventures and attempts at finding more free parking in Florida that is safe and accessible. If so, I'll be sure to let you know and if I have any not so great experiences, I'll be sure to let you know about those too. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time. There are signs here saying no parking more than three hours.